four local college football teams all in the postseason. It's exciting to be able to play for conference championship. LSU, Southern, Southeastern, and Tulane have all beaten the odds to get here. You guys had this goal in mind, and uh, it's special. And now, it's time to lock in. we got to figure out a way to get through this game. History is on the line as the Green Wave, Tigers, Lions, and Jaguars chase championships. I know the pulse of the team. I know uh, the mindset of the team, so we'll be ready to play some good football. Friday evening, everyone. I'm WDSU sports anchor Fletcher Mackel here live in Atlanta where the LSU Tigers are taking on the powerful Georgia Bulldogs in the SEC championship game. In fact, it is a championship weekend for four programs in South Louisiana. Some great games on Saturday. And I'm Sharif Ishak uptown as Tulane gets ready for a massive game inside at Yolman Stadium. This is going to be the biggest game on campus since 2005, tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And, hey, it's been a great football season for teams from South Louisiana, LSU, Tulane, Southeastern, and Southern all have a chance for special postseasons, Fletcher. Yeah, you're right, Sharif. And over the next 30 minutes, we're going to break down all the matchups. Here's how they look right now. LSU, again, here in Atlanta, taking on Georgia in the SEC championship game. Southern traveling to Jackson State, undefeated Jackson State for the SWAC championship game. Southeastern in Birmingham to take on Samford in the second round of the FCS playoffs. But we start with Sharif Uptown. I think it is the biggest game of the weekend. Potential history in Yeoman State. Stadium, Tulane versus UCF. Yeah, Fletcher, during a stretch run for Tulane, I have said this is the biggest game for Tulane since that 1998 Liberty Bowl against BYU. But this championship game against Central Florida truly is the biggest game for Tulane since that Liberty Bowl and the biggest game in the history of Yolman Stadium. Since that undefeated 1998 season, the Wave has had only three winning seasons from 99 through 2015. And caught touchdown! All right, let's talk more Tulane with Tulane sideline reporter Maddie Hudak. And Maddie, they don't get to this point, this 10 and 2 in this championship game, without their head coach. Willie Fritz, an outstanding job this season. He's kept them very focused. That he has. I mean, you don't go from 2 and 10 to 10 to 2 without leadership that starts at the top. All right, Sharif and Maddie, thank you very much. Great insight from Maddie. Right now, we want to talk about the Southern Jaguars. Southern has a new head coach, Eric Dooley, born and raised in New Orleans. He actually played his college football at Grambling State. He's now the head coach of Southern University. And in just his first year in Baton Rouge, he has the Jaguars playing in the SWAC championship game. By winning the 49th installment of the famed Bayou Classic last weekend, Southern won the SWAC's Western Division and a berth into the conference championship game. It's the Jags' first appearance in the title game since 2019, so only a handful of head coach Eric Dooley's players have been on this type of stage. to our Chasing a Championship special. I'm Fletcher Mackle here live in Atlanta. My colleague, sports anchor Sharif Aishak, is live in Yulman Stadium on Tulane's campus. We are highlighting four great college football programs. Sharif has already told you about Tulane. In just a minute, he's going to tell you about the Southeastern Lions. I just told you about the Southern Jaguars. Now it's time to talk about the other team in Baton Rouge, the LSU Tigers. LSU is taking on the Georgia Bulldogs here in the SEC championship game. LSU is currently a 17 and a half point underdog, but if they can pull off the upset, they'll advance to play in the Cotton Bowl in New Orleans on New Year's Eve. And that would be a very special ending to Brian Kelly's first season in Baton Rouge. After a storied career at Notre Dame, Brian Kelly arrived in Louisiana one year ago this week. 